Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Mokonaman at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we'll be doing a tutorial and an experiment on uh, paint chipping. Uh, there are a lot of uh, paint chipping uh, methods and uh, solutions in the uh, market, including a lot of stuff by Vallejo and uh, MIG and whatnot. And I'm going to try to uh, replicate it in lacquer with a uh, home remedy stuff, mostly hairspray. So what I'm going to be doing is painting a piece of styrene. I have uh, primed it and I'm putting an undercoat of uh, lacquer oxidized red on uh, this piece of uh, styrene. We're going to go for a bit of a rust look, so I'm going to sponge on some orange. And straight after that we're going to give it a clear coat and a sufficient amount of time for drying. So we're able to add a little bit of hairspray, apply some resin or alcohol based uh, acrylic uh, to Mir or Mr. Hobby. Then uh, once uh, that's been applied, the paint takes a long time to dry and we're going to nick it and scratch it with uh, an edge of a knife until uh, we get some nice realistic strategic scratches where we want it. Uh, the important step of this is uh, two parts. The primer, the base coat and the clear coat to thoroughly dry. So give it about two, three days. And once fully hardened, you put on your uh, hairspray, you put on the acrylic with a lot of thinner, a little bit of retardants, and as it's still soft, we scratch and chip away. Using um, extra hold or any type of uh, strongish hairspray, I poured some in this cup. You can uh, spray it on, I find it makes uh, quite a mess, and after the pump uh, died, I've uh, been hand painting it on. I uh, put on a nice thick coat and uh, allow it to uh, dry a bit. Brush, we've loaded some acrylics with a touch of uh, retardants. It's going to dry very, very slow and it's uh, not going to bite and eat into the lacquer. It's uh, virtually just going to sit there. So we'll just uh, dust it on a bit. And we'll like leave some areas that's a bit patchy and whatnot. Colour it in nicely. There we go, something like that. We'll go for another colour and do a tad of shading. With a bit of the brown, I'm able to just shade a little bit at the top, pull back, and just have a bit of an interesting weathering effect. So it's it's a multi-tone top front. Now with that all done, either with a toothpick or a knife, we can supposedly start removing paint chips. And we can uh, just attack the paint on the edges and it just comes off absolutely beautifully and with the tip of your knife you could do ever so slightly little scratches and create a pattern that suits you well Well, it's the first time, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty messy. But you get the idea. It's just beautifully how much the paint just gets removed. I'm actually very happy with this. It's a bit shaky and uh, strange. I think it could be a lot more pronounced after playing longer and whatnot.
found it to have dried very, very quickly. Uh, more retardant will be needed. Multiple shading on the top coat is not required. That could probably happen well after chipping. As well as uh, too much going on in the background can also blend in uh, the effect too much. So maybe just two tones will suffice. But most importantly, you stick to the toothpick, not the knife and uh, more retardant in the paint and here's the subtle attempt attempt on a model kit thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content check out facebook for work in progresses posting videos once or twice a week and uh, leave any comments if you have a question, always happy to answer them. Catch you guys next time.